So I got this uh, 62 Briggs uh, two horse here, model six, um, and a bunch of digits after that, but six cubic inch. Um, just wanted to make a video here regarding flywheels and uh, coils or magnetos, whatever you want to call them. So you see this old fossil here, it's got uh, two bolts holding the magneto to the engine block. Uh, even So they switched, some of them have four bolts, but uh, even being 1962, it's, uh, how you say this, 50 years old, or 60 years old, but it's it's new enough that they, it's got two bolts instead of four. Anyway, so, um, YouTuber had a question there about putting uh, a newer, um, this has a, points and condenser ignition like uh, this block here does um, but putting a newer uh, magnetron on and yeah it's quite possible to do like I say as long as you got the two bolt two mounting bolts because if you don't the flywheel is different um, it might have like see this has one big magnet in it the older ones have two smaller ones they they won't fire uh, the two bolt coils anyway so the um, uh, I didn't bring it up. I got a flywheel off a three and a half horse lawnmower. It's the same, same diameter. I think what you said, five and three quarter inches, something like that, uh, as the uh, two horse and three horse Briggs. The the three and a half lawnmower. I'll show one here, like this. They they use the same flywheel diameter. Yeah, I got lots of them. Trust me, I got I got lots of these guys. Um, I won't go so far as to say the flywheel will interchange, but it basically will. But uh, his is on a water pump, so yeah, you need the, the heavy cast iron flywheel like, like one of these guys here. Because you don't have the uh, blade acting as a flywheel. Anyway, get back to the topic here. So, uh, there's actually two types of these heavy flywheels. There's the older ones, and there's the newer ones. This is a 2004. And, you know, other than the number of fins here on the aluminum part, if you look at it close here, you see the shape of this. This casting part comes basically almost across the center line, whereas this one goes down. They'll, they'll bolt on the same motors. This one's off, uh, generally I get them off a uh, pressure washer, like a Model 10 pressure washer with a, you know, give or take four horse Briggs on it. But they they are pretty much identical but the funny thing is the new one will hit on the aluminum cover for the points on the old motors so i try not to you know if you take the cover off it probably won't hit and then but then you need to install like uh, you know uh, electronic ignition but anyway that's a, that's kind of a just a minor point i wanted to cover so you got your you got your flywheel here and as i will show any of these this one's a 2000 uh, off like a three and a half horse lawnmower yeah she's the right diameter it fits on there this one the only difference here is you get the spark plug end so you got this little guy that clips on there and you got rubber cover and then you got the newer one that's a big cover but the make and the magnetron or coil themselves are all the same like you know they they'll work put it that way I you know Briggs knows whether they're actually the same or not or some start better slow and who, who knows I don't know the intricacies like that all I know is you put them on the motor it still runs so so uh, like I was mentioning to the fella in the comments you could go to a uh, uh, small engine repair place and just see if they had a you know like a seized up uh, three three and a half to uh, three and a half or uh, 3.75 or I don't care even a four like even one off one of these uh, uh, model tens will still fit um, same flywheel diameter magneto will still work so if that's all you care about just getting your motor running then you know it'd be fine so then, <clears throat> to to do the conversion, this points one here, you'll have uh, you'll have wires coming out of the, the thing here. Just uh, just cut those wires right off. Leave the cover on. Leave all the guts in there. You don't want to remove the points plunger right here, or or you'll leak oil out. 
So like I say, just, just don't even bother taking that apart. Just cut the wires coming out so they don't get tangled up in the flywheel because it's a close fit around there. It could snag up on the bottom, what have you. Just cut those wires off, bolt your new magnetron on, and that's the stop wire. You ground that wire out and she comes to a stop. So everything's all good. The one thing about magnetrons, these electronics, they don't like it if you spin them over without the wire connected to a spark plug and it grounded. You do that enough times, you'll you'll smoke them. So uh, always uh, spin them over with a spark plug in it so that it can fire. Okay, well, that should wrap it up for my little tutorial there on uh, three horse, or well, anywhere from a two to a three, three and a half horse conversion from points to electronic ignition. And like I say, the, the coils are, from my perspective, they're interchangeable. I know Briggs did some things with some of the later ones to make the lawnmowers easier to start. Maybe they they fire at a, a slower um, RPM or something. I know the old points motors would fire slower than the electronic ones would. But, you know, doesn't matter. Lots of little things like that. Anyway, this video is too long. Everybody take care and have a good one.